préposition a. Okay, so in the previous lesson, I've been introducing the modification of this preposition a when it's combined with articles. Okay, so I would definitely uh, advise you to watch it if you didn't. Uh, and then in that lesson, we'll discover well the different uses of uh, la preposition. Ah, and you'll see that it's a long video. Why? Just because A ah could mean or could be translated in English with at, in, to, to, and then I explain you the reason why we've got this second to here, because it will be the from something to something. Okay, so that's the main reason why we've got the the two uh, two twos <laughs> and then it could be translated with on and then other uh, meanings and other uh, uses of uh, this uh, preposition a ah. okay so we'll start with at if that's okay with you and so a few examples the first one so if you want to translate it with this at would be il reste a la maison. Rester is to stay, okay? And in that case, we would construct it with a, okay? Il reste, he stays à la maison, at home, okay? Il reste à la maison. Second example, uh, we could use this conduire, okay? Conduire is to drive, and then when you want to introduce the speed, okay? In that case, it's 40 km heure, then you would use this a, okay? So at, 40 kilometers per hour. Je conduis à 40 km heure. Je conduis à 40 km heure. Okay? And then the last example we could have for this at, it's for the price, like here, à 10 euros. Le prix, the price, est fixé, okay, à 10 euros. Okay? So in that case, it would be translated by this at, but then in that case, well, he, here, we would use this A in French. Okay, so, il reste à la maison. Je conduis à 40 km heure. Le prix est fixé à 10 euros. Okay, so, if you want to express this at concept for these uh, situations, then you will have to use this preposition A. Okay, so let's see now the second uh, category we will have, and it will be this in concept. So, the first one, mon frère est au lit. Okay? Mon frère, my brother, est, is au lit in bed. Lee is bed. Okay? Mon frère est au lit. Second example, il est à la campagne. Campagne, country, countryside. Okay? Il est à la campagne. All right, so in that case, it will be used, I mean, we will use this preposition A, okay? And then the last one, so if you want to introduce a town, okay, you want to use this habité, habité is to live, okay? J'habite à Paris. All right, you can see we don't put any articles, just the name of the town. J'habite, I live in Paris. J'habite à Paris. All right, so mon frère est au lit. Il est à la campagne, j'habite à Paris. Okay, so if you want to, well, translate uh, this in concept that would be in English, then it should be a with, as we saw the combination with the articles, if needed, and the modification, au lit, à la campagne, à Paris. All right, let's see another use of a, and it would be Two. Few examples. Je rentre à la maison. Okay, so in that case, uh, rentrer, it's to go back. All right, so je rentre à la maison. And when we want to introduce this concept, then we should use this à la maison. Je rentre à la maison. Second thing, nous allons, allons is to, aller is to go, okay. À Marseille. Nous allons à Marseille. Okay, so we go to. All right, so in that case, you should use this preposition à. All right. Then, il donne un conseil. Okay, donner is to give. Un conseil, an advice. 
Okay, so he gives an advice. A Safi. Safi, his daughter. So in that case, to his daughter, you should use also this preposition A. Okay, so je rentre à la maison. Nous allons à Marseille. Il donne un conseil à sa fille. All right. And so now, whoops, we'll see the second use of this to, okay, but it, when it's combined with the preposition de, like here. So de would be from, and then you put something, and a will be the to. All right, so je travaille, travailler is to work, de, so from, 8 heures à 17 heures. Okay, so it's really the from to. Okay, so in this example, it's quite traditional, or quite classic because we introduce the, the, the hours or the time. Okay, so from to. Let's see another example now. Il sera, remember, sera, it's to be, but the future form. Il sera en France du 15 juin. Okay, so here you've got a, a date, and if you look carefully, you've got this du. So it does mean that normally you should put the article le 15 juin, and that's the, the reason why we've been combining the two, and it becomes du. Okay, we've been seeing that in a previous lesson, so if it's not clear, watch it. Du 15 juin au, same thing here, we've got the preposition a, but then combined with the same article, so le, okay, and it will become au, 22 juillet. All right, so in that situation, you can see that it's exactly the same concept, but as we use the articles, then we've got to modify the, the, the prepositions. Okay, so il sera en France du 15 juin au 22 juillet. And the last example that we can have, ce train, this train, okay, va, so goes, de Rennes à Paris. Okay, and in that case, we just put the name of the towns, okay, de Rennes à Paris. But then in that case, so whether it's à 17h au 22 juillet, À Paris, so the concept is it's this to, okay, but then it is combined with the, the, and then remember the with the articles, and it will change. So in that case, it it would be to, all right. Another possibility would be the concept of this on, okay. So let's see a few example here. Ce film, this movie, est à La télé, okay, on TV, à la télé, okay, we've got this A here, and then la télé. So télé, of course, it's for télévision, okay, but in most of the cases, we don't use in French this télévision, the full word, we just use this télé word, okay. Ce film est à la télé. Second example, mon ami, my friend, habite, habite is to live, O, so same thing here, you've got this preposition, but it's combined with le, so it becomes O, and then cinquième étage, cinquième, fifth, and then étage, floor. So in that case, you want to say that your friend is living on the fifth floor, okay? And in that case, we get to use this A preposition. Third example, il y a une horloge, okay, a clock. Au mur, okay, so same thing here, okay, le mur, the wall, okay, but then we combine a and le and it becomes au, okay, au mur. Il y a une horloge au mur. So let's read them one more time. Ce film est à la télé. Mon ami habite au cinquième étage. Il y a une horloge au mur. All right. And now let's see all the others possibilities that we've got, okay? So, with verbs, because some verbs, and it's only examples here, because uh, we've got many verbs, verbs that will require this preposition uh, à, okay? So, parler, parler à, to talk to, penser à, okay, to think about someone or something, arriver à, okay, to succeed, to do something, okay? So, in that case, you should use this 
preposition a with these verbs. Okay, you will see that normally the way students do is that they will remember these prepositions and the combination of verbs and preposition little by little. So when you will encounter a new verb with a preposition, the idea is to try to write it or to try to memorize it, and uh, that's the way it, it will uh, it will go. Okay. So same thing, you can combine this preposition a with adjectives, for instance interdit à, or then prêt à, interdit, it's forbidden, prêt, ready. Okay, so in that case, you should combine these adjectives with the preposition à. Okay, so it's possible to use this preposition à when you want to express or to, to tell how it is done. Okay, so for instance, when you want to say that it's been done, it's been machine done or hand how do you say handmade? Yeah, you use this fait. So faire is to do, okay? But then in that case, it would be done, okay? A la machine fait à la main. All right. Second use when you want to use this travel concept. So venir is to come, okay? So if you want to, to say that, you, well, to come by something, okay? Uh, here it's pied, foot, vélo, and then motorbike, okay? So the concept in French is that if you're not inside, so like um, a car, a train, tramway, subway, so if you're not inside, then normally the concept would be to use this preposition à, okay? When you want to use this come, go, okay, by. Uh, so you should use this a preposition, okay? But then keep in mind that in many cases, French people tend to use when it comes to vélo, moto. Well, you can listen and you can hear uh, quite many times this en instead of a. Not really for pied because, uh, well, French people will still use this a pied, okay? Because it's like a common expression. But still for vélo and moto, many persons will, will use this en, okay? Uh, officially, it should be a mistake, but then many persons are using it. So just be ready and try to remember that it's possible that you will hear this en vélo uh, on their en, uh, en moto, okay? If you want to describe something, okay, so for instance, la personne au manteau vert, okay, so in that case, you want to say that uh, this is the person who is wearing uh, uh, the green jacket, okay, au manteau vert, so in that case, it's always the same, so a and le combine, and it will become au, or then, you know, in that case, it can be red hair, okay, so cheveux roux, uh, so in that case, it's the plural, okay, a plus le, and it will become o like that, but it's quite common to use this a, okay, and then you want to describe a person. So it's also uh, quite commonly used if you want to talk about food, for instance, un gâteau au chocolat, all right? So un gâteau au chocolat, same thing here, à le, okay, un gâteau au chocolat, or then un croissant aux amandes, un croissant aux amandes. So gâteau, cake, chocolat, chocolate, croissant, it's this uh, classical French pastry, and then amandes, almonds, okay? And then the use, so for instance, if you want to uh, make a difference between, because une cuillère it's a spoon, okay, so coffee spoon will be une cuillère à café, all right, so in that case, we've got to use this preposition à as well, or then une machine à laver, washing machine, so une machine à laver. Another option would be the owner, so if you want to say la maison, so the house est à mon frère, okay, so belongs to my brother, so in that case we use this être, to be, okay, and then à here, mon frère, my brother, okay, well, then you could use, you could say ce chien, this dog, is mine, so est is à moi, so it's possible, like we've been seeing here, to put a noun after, or then you could put a pronoun, like here, à moi, or then you could put the name of the person. 
c'est à Eric, ok, does it belong to Eric, c'est à Eric, so it's a question in that case, all right. So it's quite quite commonly used this uh, ah when you want to uh, say that uh, the person is owning the thing, okay. And then the time, so if you want to uh, use this rendezvous, so let's meet, à 20 heures, okay, so in that case you should use this à and then you put the time, à 8 heures du matin, for instance. The pain. Normally, we've got this expression. So when you say that, uh, when you want to say that, uh, well, you've got an ache, something somewhere in your body. So, avoir mal, and then, à, all right? And then you will combine it with the article. So, ventre would be like stomach, okay? So, stomach ache would be avoir mal au ventre, so obviously this O is A plus le, so that's the reason why it's like that, okay, ventre is masculine. So if it's uh, tête, la tête, head, headache, A la tête, okay, so same structure, avoir mal à la tête. And then, in that case, pied, foot, au pied, okay, avoir mal au pied, okay, so in that case you get the, the plural form. And the last thing that we'll use this preposition A for, it's when you want to say goodbye. So if you notice that probably, uh, we say A demain, so see you tomorrow, A demain. Um, a bientôt, bientôt soon, see you soon. A tout à l'heure, so it's in a few minutes or in a while. A tout à l'heure, okay? A demain, a bientôt. À tout à l'heure. So in that case, you should definitely use this preposition A if you want to say these things.